five, uh, Alfonso Garcia. The uh, Indians will send number six, Scott Wiedemann, back to receive the kick. Scott, of course, a graduate of Monta Vista High School, 5'11", 170-pound sophomore. Badness gets the kick away, a nice spiraling kick. It'll send uh, Wiedemann back to his 37-yard line. He crosses the 40, slips and goes down at about the 43-yard line. So the uh, punt kid left, and uh, Bill Geyser is a wide left along with Krasovich. It is a Williams wide to the right. Palumbo the lone setback. Here's the snap. Size to pass on the first play from scrimmage. Goes away downfield, looking over the middle, and we're going to have a uh, flag thrown. One official did not throw a flag. The other did, as Geyser had a uh, man all over him this time, and uh, the flag goes down. I think we're going to see a defensive interference call here. And well, nope, now the officials waving it off, they say. There's going to be a no flag on the play. And down. Size will work out of the eye formation this time, as it is uh, Todd Rutherford back in the ball game this week. He was out last week with a leg injury, and uh, the handoff goes to Palumbo this time. He lumbers through the middle of the line and picks up about uh, five yards. He sends a geyser in motion to the right. As Palumbo, the lone setback, Size takes the snap, looking to pass once again, straight over the middle, and it's going to be broken up, intended for uh, Corey. And so West Polk is on to punt it away for Adam State. Polk gets his uh, foot under it, a high kick. It will be uh, taking a bounce at the nine-yard line and rolls on into the end zone for the touchdown. The defense is doing a great job so far. All right, set to go, first and 10 from the 20-yard line. Atwood is at quarterback once again for the Raiders. He works out of an eye formation, brings a receiver in motion to his uh, right, takes a snap, handoff to a running back in the backfield, slips and goes down behind the line of scrimmage. A number uh, 32 a tone of season ball game for uh, both teams, for the Adams State Indians, as uh, they look forward to the uh, playoffs in the NAIA. All right, set to go. Here comes a man in motion to the near side. The snap, Atwood, gives the uh, handoff to the back, and he's up to the 20-yard line. Flags are down, and uh, we'll see what that's all about. The Indian defense again there to make the quick stop. Alan De Herrera there to make the hit ball resting on the uh, right side hash mark. As Atwood brings his troops out of the huddle and up to the line of scrimmage. The lone setback is Bettini, and Atwood set to go. Good crowd on hand here this afternoon for the last home game of the regular season. Atwood takes a snap, dropping back to pass, has time, throws it over the middle, and uh, short hops it to his intended receiver, Garcia. Fadden is standing back at his own six. There's the snap, but the low snap. Fadden gets his hands on it, is able to get the punt away. A high kick, a good kick. It drives Wiedemann all the way back down to his 26-yard line. He turns to the 30, the 35, up the sideline to the 40, the 45, the 50, the 45, and down at the 41-yard line as the uh, stop made by number 29, Rod Fuller, on are at the Fort Lewis 41-yard line and starting off in great field position once again. It'll be Rutherford in motion, the handoff to Palumbo. He's got room, stiff arms the player and gets across the 40 down to about the 45 yards on the play. And it'll bring up second and five as uh, size set to go drops back looking to his right there's a uh, poke has the pass reception complete and a first down for the Adams State Indians inside the 30 yard line and a first down working from the uh, 26 yard line geyser goes in motion the handoff to Palumbo again Palumbo through the right side of the line and crosses the line of scrimmage and down to about the 24 yard line of Adams State Indians and from the 25-yard line we go. Size has uh, Carlos Sandoval wide to his left and Corey Williams wide right. Size dropping back to pass, looking up over the middle and lobbing it for Geyser. Geyser got tangled up with the defender at number uh, nine. As we're set to go now, of course, the Indians are the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference champions. First time they've uh, had the title at all since 1980. And if they win this one this afternoon, the title outright since 1972. Size looking over the middle, and we've got a flag down. Corey Williams was tripped as he uh, went into the end zone by number 20, Jared Howell. And uh, the flag goes down. And so we'll see uh, what the uh, call is from the official. I think it's going to be defensive interference. The 10-yard line, the ball resting just across the 10-yard uh, line. And so the Indians have four plays to do it. 9.24 showing on the clock, Indians' first uh, threat of the afternoon as they line up out of an eye formation. It's Rutherford and Palumbo in the backfield. There's a snap. Palumbo gets the pitch back, and he crosses the 10-yard line, dives across, down to the 5. We've got a flag on the play, 
and uh, Rutherford down to about the five-yard line. It'd be about a five-yard gain, but we've got holding against the Adam State Indians, so uh, never mind the play. Dial family financial need. Offices in both Alamosa and Monte Vista. Kinney's, the Valley's friendly department store, serving the San Luis Valley from 621 Main Street in Alamosa. Kinney's, where the family shops. A lot of anything. Uh, eight and a half minutes to play in the first period of action. It's uh, Adam State College uh, ball at the 17-yard line, second down. There's the snap. Size dropped back to pass, looking to the sideline. Wide open is uh, Corey Hooks, and Hooks is down across the 10-yard line to about the 7 or 8. Have one opportunity to uh, do it, otherwise they'll call on the services of West Polk. Williams is wide to the left. Here comes Rutherford in motion to the left. Polk is wide right. Size looking to pass. Under pressure, lets the pass go. Has Palumbo? No, he couldn't get his hands on it. The holder. There's the snap, the hold. The kick is on its way, and it is no good. No good. Wide to the left. West Polk missed Colorado in uh, a long time. Yep, Polk was 6 for 6 up until that point. And so misses for the first time this season. Motion to the line of scrimmage, but the Indians get back. There's the pitch way outside. The ball carrier down across the line of scrimmage, 20-yard uh, line, and out close to a Fort Lewis first down. Number uh, 30 and uh, close to scoring. And uh, we may be in for a battle here this afternoon. Let's see what happens with Fort Lewis this time. As they work out of an eye formation, Atwood, the quarterback, a man in motion to the near side. Atwood takes the snap, hand off to the second man through the line, is weighed once again. He crashes across for a first down for Fort Lewis to about the 34-yard uh, line. Atwood has his offense set out of an eye formation this time, takes the snap, turns around the handoff to the first man through this time. That's Fuller, and he's up to the 40-yard line for a gain of about six. 5.59 to play in the quarter. No score yet here this afternoon between the Adams State Indians and the Fort Lewis Raiders. Set to go, there's the snap. Adwood gets the handoff to Wade once again. Wade is going to be dropped at the 41-yard line. Scott Wiedemann there to make the tackle. Oh, no, check that. Nick Galbraith uh, in to make the tackle. It was all Adam State in a uh, lopsided affair, 52 to 9. That one we saw West Polk kick a 52-yard field goal. One of the longest we've uh, ever witnessed. Set to go, Atwood takes the snap, looking to pass on third down. Lobs it ahead, has the receiver complete for the first down, and across the 50-yard line goes uh, number 88, Steve. Uh, yeah, I'm state 49. And first and 10 from there. Set to go, Atwood. The pitch comes back to Wade, and we've got flags flying all over the place, motion at the line of scrimmage somewhere. And so they will stop the play. Illegal uh, start to Fort Lewis with uh, only one win this uh, entire season. Atwood dropping back to pass, goes over the middle and has his uh, pass complete down to the 42-yard line of Adams State College. And a big gain on the play. He uh, goes for nine, second and three. As Atwood, out of an eye formation once again, has a receiver out to his right. A man comes in motion. There's a handoff straight up the middle. And uh, trying for the first down. I don't think he got there. They will. And uh, see if the Indian defense can stop him. Three and a half minutes to play in the quarter. As the uh, black shirt defense aligns itself. Atwood surveys the defense. That's his offensive line. Takes the snap. Drops back. The handoff to Fuller. Fuller straight up to the 40. And he'll be close. He'll be close. But, uh, well, we'll see where they mark it at. The Indian defensive line there to uh, make the hit, and they say he didn't get it. Fourth down. All three officials right in the middle holding up their hands, and, and uh, it came up empty-handed. So we are set to go now as the offensive line of the Raiders is set. Atwood is that quarterback. Takes a snap. Handoff goes to the middle. They've got the first down. They go through the left side of the line, and uh, number uh, 29, Rod Fuller, minutes to play in the quarter, and no score, but a uh, good drive going here for the Raiders. Indian defense shifts around, now we're set to go. Uh, that would has his offense set, split back formation. There comes a man in motion to the near side, that's Wade. There's the handoff, a draw play, goes to Fuller with lots of room, he's down to the 30, the 25, and upended right there by uh, Scott Wiedemann. And another Raider first down. Afternoon from the 29-yard line. First and 10, a minute 50 to play in the quarter. 
and Fort Lewis all of a sudden threatening here this afternoon in the Spud Bowl. All right, sent to go. Atwood brings a man in motion. Wade once again to his right. Takes a snap. Hand off to uh, Wade once again. Check up Fuller, and he's going to be dropped uh, behind the line of scrimmage by number 97, Todd Bryan for Adams State College. All about the 26-yard line. So second and 12, and Atwood with his offense set. Again, Wade in motion to the right. Handoff goes right up the middle, and uh, for nothing, Byron Currington there to me. And uh, trying to stop the Raiders one more time. On third down, 22 seconds. This will be the last play of the quarter. And uh, see what they do. 16 seconds on the clock as uh, Atwood takes the uh, long count, brings a uh, uh, man in motion this time to the near side, and now they take too much time. Delay of game, so the Raiders will have a one final play to work with. Atwood, with his offense set, takes a long count once again. Now takes a snap, drops back to pass. Atwood rolling out, looking upfield for a uh, receiver, and no one even in the area. Just had to uh, throw it away. Uh, San Ramon, California. There's the snap. The kick is on its way, and it is going to be no good. No good. Second quarter action after this. 1990 Zenith Custom Series console TVs in both 25 and 27 inch flagged with screen sizes. Whether early American, traditional, or contemporary styles, or with finishes like honey oak, nutmeg oak, pine, or traditional cherry. This ball rests at the 37 yard line, and we're set to go. Here comes Geyser in motion to the near side with the handoff straight up the middle, and uh, not much there at all. As the and about uh, four to go, they got about a yard on the play. As size has his offense set, drops back to pass, looks to his right, has a complete to uh, Williams for the first down and across the 45 out to about the 49 yard line. First down, as the Indians uh, will uh, try to keep this drive going. No score in the first quarter, first time the Indians haven't scored in the first period in a long, long time. There's the handoff to Rutherford. He crosses the 50-yard line and down to about the 46, where the uh, second and six from the 46-yard uh, line of Fort Lewis. And Sy is sent to go. Barks out the signals, drops back the pass, looking over the middle, has it complete to Geyser. He's got uh, breaks two tackles, still on his feet, down to the 34-yard uh, line. And first down, Adam State. They take it six, 11, 12 yards. Another 12 at the 34-yard uh, line. As size set to go out of an eye formation, hand off to Palumbo straight down the middle, crashes through one tackler, and uh, as Palumbo has his offense set, Polk is wide right, and I think it's Krasovich, no check that Sandoval, passes out to Polk, and he slips past the tackler, and is going to be bumped out of bounds at about the 16-yard line, as another Adam series, and moving the ball right down the field. From the 16-yard line, Size takes a snap. Handoff is to uh, Hooks as Corey goes across the line of scrimmage into the air, and it's going to be uh, brought down. Uh, we've got the problem straightened out. The ball rests at the 12-yard line, second and six from there. As Size out of an eye formation, drops straight back to pass, looks to the middle, into the end zone. Corey went in and out of his hands. No, he dropped the ball. Oh, and we're set to go. Hooks goes in motion to the left. Size takes the snap, drops back the pass, rolling, looks over the middle, and has Bill Geyser into the end zone for the touchdown. Bill Geyser has the pass complete, and uh, we've got flags down on the play. Hold everything. We've got flags down. It would be a 12-yard touchdown reception, but we've got flags down, and Fort Lewis clapping their hands, saying it's going to be against Adam State College. Now we hear that the uh, Colorado and Nebraska game is a play. They take the ball out to the, well, third and 12 is a play, so it's actually a seven and a half yard penalty since they're inside the 20 yard line. So third and 12 from there, size to pass, looking over the middle and goes for Corey Williams, has the ball caught for the first down at the five yard line. As a 13 yard uh, pass reception, 
and the front bottom of the battle so far here this afternoon. As the defenses, both the defenses playing well. Size will work out of the wishbone formation. Handoff goes to Geyser. He will go through the right side for about a yard or two. And that's going to be about it. Palumbo, Geyser, and Hooks are the backs. There's the snap. Geyser gets the call again through the right side. Slips past the tackler and into the end zone for the touchdown. Geyser went down right at the goal line, but uh, able to get on in for the TD. And so he uh, takes it a uh, three-yard run into the end zone for the touchdown. Bill Geyser, who scored uh, three times in uh, last weekend's ball game against uh, Western State, gets his first touchdown here this afternoon. It comes at uh, 10.20 to play in the uh, second quarter of action. And West Polk adds on the extra point. And it's Adams State College 7, Fort Lewis 0. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. To the end zone on that one. And, uh, well, didn't go in untouched by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, got the six points. West Polk adds on the extra, and uh, that's where we're at. Polk has the ball teed up, and back to receive his kickoff is uh, Rod Fuller. He sends it down the field, a high spinning kick. It'll be taken at the three-yard line to the five of the ten. The 15, the 20, and uh, brought down right there by a number of 56. Four. And Adam State College looking to remain undefeated in this 1989 season in league play. They only lost, of course, the first game of the season. And that was at Southwest Oklahoma, a game in which the Indians had five turnovers, and they lost by a touchdown. Here's the pitch uh, back to the running back, and he gets down to the 25-yard line. Kurt Wilson there to make the hit for Adams to 946. The clock continues to roll in the second quarter as Atwood remains at quarterback. He's a freshman out of an I formation once again. Has a receiver wide to his right. Brings a man in motion. Is tied in. Here's the pitch back to Patini once again. He crosses the 25-yard line and down to about the 27-28 before he is brought down. Be short four depending on your point of view. Third down. No matter what the case. Atwood with nine minutes on the clock. And out of an eye formation again, brings his tight end to the near side. Pitch goes high to uh, Bettini, and Bettini will not have the first down. He will uh, get ahead for about uh, two, and it will bring up a fourth and one. The uh, rest on the sideline. Looks like he's uh, favoring his leg just a little bit. I let the pick go. It's taken at the 26, Williams to the 30. The 35, the 40, the 45, still on the feet, down to the 48-yard line. Great return. As the kick goes 10, 20, 30, 40, a 45, 44. Got a personal foul against the uh, Raiders. Personal foul. Give the Indians ideal field position. 8.03 to play in the quarter. Adam State College 7, Fort Lewis nothing. Geyser comes back in motion to the near side. The uh, pitch comes outside to Geyser. He's to the 30, the 25, the 20. He's going to go all the way over into the end zone for the touchdown. A great option play by Bob Size. Wait a minute. We've got uh, flags down again. Got flags down again. Geyser had uh, Size ran a fantastic option play. And... Now they're uh, talking things over with size. Let's see what the penalty is. And, well, nullify the touchdown. That's two that have been taken away from Adam State here this afternoon. And uh, now they're talking with all the officials and I'm gonna get everything straightened out. They will mark it off. Horton Whistle. And for Adams State College, we'll just have to try it again. Five gets the pitch outside the geyser once again, and Bill will get back across the 30, down to about the 27. Five looking to pass, going straight down the middle, looking for Corey Williams, has it into the end zone for the touchdown, and this one is going to count. A 27-yard touchdown play for uh, Bob Size as he gets the completion.
Station to Corey Williams. It comes with 6.50 to play in the second quarter and the uh, second to Adam State College touchdown of the afternoon. So bomb five comes right back for Adam State College. And that puts them over 100 yards in passing. West Park the extra point, and it is just good. He just angled that one through, and uh, it's Adam State College 14. Fort Lewis College nothing. We'll have the kickoff after this. One uh, passer in the conference is not in the nation, as uh, he had Corey Williams on a beeline straight down the sideline, and just dropped that pass in there perfect. West Polk sets up the kickoff, sends it down the field, a high spiraling kick. It will uh, drive the uh, re receiver back into the end zone, and he will not come out. Uh, Rod Fuller, and uh, seems a little bit disappointed with himself, sits down on the sideline. And, uh, well, kickers have their own little way about them, and uh, we'll see what happens as the game progresses. Atwood, the quarterback for Fort Lewis, the flag goes down in the backfield, the uh, ball carries through the right side of the line, and a uh, pile up right at the line of scrimmage. That will be um, by the Adam State Indians or whatever the uh, call is. And so it'll just go with a second down. And second down is where we're at, second and uh, 10 for the Raiders. Atwood dropping back to pass, Carrington on his tail. As he tries to get away, he will throw it away. No one anywhere near him. And uh, looking for a flag, there we finally get a flag. As he just uh, threw that one into the grass. And uh, the uh, Indians looking for an intentional grounding. Uh, that would had nowhere to go, had Currington, had uh, Ferguson, had several other players hot on his tail. And so they will march off the yard. There was no one anywhere near him. And it'll be marked off from uh, the point where he uh, made the pass, a five-yard penalty. And the, uh, from the point of uh, where he made the pass, so it turns into a 10-yard loss for the Raiders, third and 20 coming up. 6.18 to play in the quarter. Atwood trying to uh, get the playoff, was looking for a whistle, apparently couldn't hear, uh, couldn't uh, get the playoff because of the crowd noise. Uh, of note, there are a number of other teams in action, of course, uh, but uh, none of them in uh, any contention for the league title. A pass is going to be caught by the tight end at the five yard line, to the 10, the 15, and out across the 20 yard line for a good pickup there for Fort Lewis, number 86, uh, Kopech there to uh, make the catch for the, uh, the first down. And so uh, Eric Fadness will once again kick it away. Corey Williams back to receive the kick for uh, the Indians. Fadness waits for the ball back at his eight yard line, takes a snap, the kick is a high spiraling kick, a great kick, it drives Williams back and it goes out of bounds, back down at the uh, 15 yard line. Holy mackerel, look at this one. It goes 10, 20, 30, 40. We are set to go. First and 10. Bob Sines and the Adams State Indians have five and a half minutes to work with. He gives the handoff to Palumbo. The big man lumbers through the line and uh, gets back to the 20 yard line for a uh, pick up for Palumbo. And uh, second and four coming up. Sines, the handoff uh, pitch comes outside to uh, Corey Hooks. And Hooks uh, almost lost that in. Size will go with the wishbone. Handoff goes to Hooks. He's through the line of scrimmage and into the backfield to the 40, the 45, the 50. There's no one there. He's going to go all the way if he can have one, one man. Hooks to the 10, the 5. Trip up and falls into the end zone for the touchdown. Corey Hooks. Corey Hooks takes this one 77 yards. He went from the 23-yard line, and 77 yards later, a 77-yard touchdown run. Unbelievable. And that was on a third and two situation. 
it comes with 414 to play in the second quarter. Third touchdown of the quarter. Extra point attempt is on its way in through. Adams State College 21, Fort Lewis nothing. We'll be back after this. And uh, well, wish them the best of luck in uh, getting back into that ball game. But uh, boy, Corey Hooks with a 77 yard touchdown run just as uh, moments ago. 5'9", 175 pound freshman out of El Paso, Texas. And he had that all headed down the field. The kickoff will not be returned as West Polk drives it three yards deep into the end zone and uh, picked up uh, as he went into the end zone by number 10, Ned Lehman. But uh, Lehman just uh, unable to quite get there to make the stop. And it's Adam State College 21, Fort Lewis 0. Fort Lewis with the ball from the 20-yard line. Atwood looking to pass is going to be dropped for a sack. Byron Currington has his first sack of the afternoon. The Adam State College nose guard is through to drop Atwood for a big loss. And uh, back down to the 11-yard uh, line, a 9-yard loss for the Raiders. Well, West Polk uh, missed an 18-yard chip shot. First field goal he's missed all season. And uh, even now, he sits on the sideline by himself. And now we've got uh, whistle, too much time. Delay of game to 14. Second and 24, rather, from the 7-yard uh, line. Atwood to pass out of the end zone, looking upfield, and has it caught. A great reception out to the 25-yard line. His receiver, number five, is up a third and four for uh, Fort Lewis. As the clock winds down, approaching our halftime, Atwood to pass, rolls back, looks over the middle, and will uh, throw it short of his intended receiver, number uh, 86. Dale Kopek, the tight end, five-lined him for the past two weeks. Snap comes back to Fadness, gets his foot under it, another high spiraling kick. It drives Williams back to the 20, back to the 16-yard line, and so he's out of bounds once again there. So the uh, punt goes to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, Fort Lewis zero. And set to go. As motion at the line of scrimmage, flags go down, fires with a free play, goes right over the middle, has Bill Geiser to the 50, the 40, the 35, 30, he gets tripped, no, still on his feet, he's going to go all the way in for the touchdown. Another big touchdown for the Adams State Indians, flags down way back at the line of scrimmage, I think that's going to be against Fort Lewis. Let's wait and see. It'll be an 84-yard touchdown reception, and it's against Fort Lewis, 84-yard TD. An 84-yard touchdown to Bill Geyser. And he scores for the second time here this afternoon. It comes with 2.20 to play in the second quarter. Bob Fye just burning the uh, Fort Lewis uh, defensive backs. And uh, Bill Geyser, turning on the speed, ran away from the three defensive backs. And down the field, this freshman, a uh, graduate of Alamosa High School having a fantastic first year here at Adams State. The extra point attempt on its way, and it is through. It's Adams State College 28, Fort Lewis 0. We'll be back in just a moment. They put together four second-quarter touchdowns uh, to uh, break this ball game wide open. It's Adams State 28, Fort Lewis 0. Two big plays. Uh, Corey Hooks with a 77-yard touchdown run, and Bill Geyser just a moment ago with an 84-yard touchdown reception. And Fuller will get a chance to return this one. Takes it from the goal line on the kickoff out to the 10, 15, the 20. And uh, knock that words. The ball loose. The ball pops loose. But uh, let's see. I think they're going to say Fort Lewis uh, still had a hold of that one when the ball went to the ground. 2-10 to play in the half as the uh, Raiders will try to uh, mount some kind of an attack as we get set to go into halftime. Man in motion. Adwood takes the snap. The handoff to Fuller in the backfield. He turns the corner and gets across the line of scrimmage out to about the 24-yard line before he is uh, bumped out of bounds. Brett Crabb there to uh, make the hit for Adam State, one of the uh, seniors of this Adam State ball club. Again, uh, Atwood remains at quarterback. He, of course, is the freshman. Second and five, there's a wade in motion to the right. Atwood drops back to pass, but uh, whistles blow and the play will be blown dead. And uh, another false start. Coming up against uh, the Raiders. Two minutes to play. 28 to nothing the score. Ball rests at the 19-yard uh, line after the penalty. So a second 
and uh, 10 coming up. Wade goes in motion again. Here's the handoff, and uh, the ball carrier Fuller will get back across the 20-yard line, and then will be bowled backwards from there. And uh, the emotions are running high. Byron Currington there to uh, drive him back, and Fuller coming up off the bottom of the pile. I'm sure coming up, we'll get you up to date on all the latest in news, sports, and weather right here on KGIW. Atwood sent to go on third down. Takes a snap, drops back to pass. Currington in after him. He lets the pass go up the field and has got to have it uh, incomplete. In and out of the hands of his intended receiver, number five, Alfonso Garcia. Number two for the Adams State Indians, uh, Rodney Green, uh, there to break it up. Green, as Williams uh, awaits the uh, kick back at his own 20. This one's a little shorter. Williams comes up to take it at the uh, 34. But uh, we've got a flag on the play way back downfield at the line of scrimmage. And uh, let's see what that's all about. Another false start against the... Uh, now we're set to go. Motion at the line of scrimmage again. This time it's Adam State College. McFadness gets off another great kick. Drives Williams back to his own 19-yard line. He gets up to the 20, the 25, cutting across field, and now running backwards and back down at the 15-yard uh, line. As the... Uh, Play was uh, blown dead there, and the Fort Lewis player there to make the tackle. Adam State College uh, jumped off sides on that last play, so they will. Uh, Palumbo is the lone setback. Corey Hooks goes in motion to the right, to the left rather. Handoff is to uh, Geyser. Geyser will uh, get through the line of scrimmage, breaks one tackler, and is out uh, across the 15 to about the 17-yard uh, line, right about uh, to the line of scrimmage. So they don't get anywhere on that one. And second and 10 coming up. Temper is starting to flare out there on the field. You can see the frustration of the Fort Lewis Raiders. 23 seconds, 22 seconds on the clock. And uh, Adam State College will uh, run off one more play here this afternoon. West Polk will uh, come out uh, wide right. Geyser goes in motion. The handoff is to Palumbo straight up the middle, and Palumbo will get ahead for maybe a yard or so, but that'll be it. So uh, not kicked off in the ball game. This may be the only time they kick off, unless they, they get some points on the board. As I said, the only time they had a chance of scoring was on a missed 41-yard field goal attempt. So the kick down the field is taken by Geyser at the 5, to the 10, the 15, the 20, and it'll be bumped out of bounds at about the 24-yard line by uh, the defender number Gilden. If the Indians pick up where they left off. Of course, the last time these two teams met, it was a lopsided affair as well. Indians are running away with that one, 52 to 9. The Sides will set things up in an I formation with uh, Palumbo and Geyser in the backfield. Palumbo gets the call, lumbers through the line of scrimmage and up to the 30 yard line, flies her down. And uh, let's see what that's all about. A, uh, so they will uh, march it off uh, five yards back. And. And we now understand the score in the Alamosa Burlington game is uh, Alamosa 14, Burlington 21. And that nullifies the run of Palumbo. The Indians back to their own 20. Tries to pass, looking to his right, in and out of the hands of Carlos Sandoval. That goes in motion to the uh, left. Fies takes the snap, drops back, looking upfield to pass. Has all kinds of time, right over the middle, has a complete descent of all at the 33. He's out to the 35-yard line and down right there, away here in the third quarter of action. Adam stayed up by four touchdowns. Size, working out of an eye formation. Takes a snap, turns around the hand off to Palumbo, straight up the middle for a yard or two. And uh, then the hit made. Tackle short eight or a long eight coming up. Size set to go. Takes a snap, drops back to pass, looks over the middle, headed down the sideline looking for Corey Williams, and he's going to catch it, but uh, out of bounds as uh, he was run out of bounds, facing a third down. And uh, Size trying to uh, get the first. Palumbo is a lone setback. Rutherford goes in motion. Size drops back to pass, rolling to his left, stops, looks upfield, lets the pass go, and has it complete out to the 44-yard line of Fort Lewis. Carlos Sandoval with the reception. Adam State Collins first down. They go to the 44-yard line, so a 20-yard pass completion. As Size continues to light it up through the air. The geyser comes in motion to the near side. Size to pass. 
with all kinds of time. Can't find anybody. Pushing him downfield. Looks ahead. Has it complete to Geyser down to the 36-yard line. And the guys will be chopped right there. And we're in the third quarter. 12-13 to play. Adam State 28, Fort Lewis 0. Polk is wide right. Krasovich is wide left. Rutherford is in motion to the left. There's the uh, little reverse. Guys are getting the call, and he will uh, not get anywhere. In fact, he'll be dropped for a loss. There's you uh, meet him coming across. Bill Quinn. Hey, you can hear it on the outside there. Right out of the south. As the uh, Indians uh, keep the drive going. On a third and five off the 40. Five off back to pass. All kinds of time. Steps forward into the pocket. Looks ahead. Wide open in the middle is Corey Williams. No one anywhere near him. He's to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and into the end zone for the touchdown. But uh, oh, everything. A flag rift back at the 30-yard line. Flags are down back at the 30-yard line. It'll be a 40-yard touchdown reception if the flag is against Fort Lewis, and it is. The penalty will be declined. A 40-yard touchdown reception. Off to a slow start, scoreless in the first quarter, but uh, now they put together five touchdowns. The extra point attempt on its way in good. It's Adam State College, 35. Fort blowing this one open now, 35 to nothing. Our score on another big pass play by Bob Size. A 40-yard touchdown reception to uh, Corey Williams. As uh, Size uh, had to get flushed out of the pocket to make the pass, but. Uh, able to do it. And Polk will send this one eight yards deep into the end zone. Fuller will not have a chance for a 11-13 uh, is where we're at. First and 10, Fort Lewis. The quarterback remains uh, Tom Atwood for the Raiders. As he takes the snap, Atwood, the pitch will come back to the uh, back of Bettini. He will uh, turn the corner and uh, get ahead for maybe a yard or so. Alan De Her a southwesterly breeze blowing across the field here at Rexfield. And there's the snap. Atwood drops back to pass. Looking up, has a pass complete to his receiver out to the 30, the 35, the 40. He turns on the feed, going down the sideline. He's going to go all the way. No one's going to catch him. Number five, Alfonso Garcia, takes the touchdown pass in for the Raiders. Takes this one 79 yards for the touchdown. And a bit of light shown here by the Raiders. A 79, incredible speed, a great uh, receiver. And uh, just took it all the way. There's the extra point attempt on its way, and it is good. Ford Lewis is finally on the board at 10.48 of the third quarter. It's uh, 35 out of state. Ford Lewis, 7. The kickoff follows this commercial message. And around, and there goes Garcia just tearing down the sideline and into the end zone for the touchdown. And uh, so... The uh, kicker, Jim Fair, will uh, boot it down the field for the Adams State Indians. Kind of a squib kick, and it'll be taken by Williams at the 5, to the 10, the 15, the 20, and still on the feet at the 25. Slips past tackler, still on his feet, and uh, the ball almost tripped loose, uh, but uh, Williams able to hang on to it down to the 28-yard line. So the Raiders get on the board and avert the shutout. Handoff goes to Corey Hooks in the backfield. Hooks. We'll uh, dive ahead and uh, run and nine. Second and nine. Palumbo is a lone setback. Polk is wide right. Krasovich is wide left. And Size now calls the signals, takes a snap, looking to his left, pumps once, dives away from the inside, gets uh, knocked down, he lets the pass go, has it complete to Krasovich down at the 30-yard line of Fort Lewis. What a pass! The pass goes 10, 20, 30, 40. First and 10 from the 30-yard line we go. Five, let the pass go. Williams cannot make the reception. Out of Creed High School. He is the winner of a uh, full scholarship to Adams State College for the uh, coming uh, school year. Handoff, nope. Five uh, fakes the uh, get handoff, gives the pitch outside to uh, Rutherford, and Rutherford will, uh, and so it'll bring up a third and 11. Ball rests at the 30-yard line. And Palumbo is the lone setback as Size surveys the Fort Lewis defense, drops back to pass, looks up the field, straight over the middle for Rutherford, has the pass complete, and another Adam State College first down, and another reception. For and uh, Indians threatening the score once again. Here comes Hooks in motion to the left. Size drops back to pass, looking over the middle, has Rutherford into the end zone for the touchdown. Looked at him all the way, and uh, he was covered, but uh, no one there to uh, make the stop. Indians take this one uh, 13 yards into the end zone. And a 
13-yard pass to uh, Rutherford. And uh, West Polk to uh, attempt the point after. It comes with 8.41 to play in the third quarter. And uh, extra point attempt on its way, and it is good. It's Adam State College 42, Fort Lewis College 7. Uh, flag is down on that play. Let's see what that's all about. It will be offsides against Fort Lewis. They'll so decline the penalty, take the extra point. It is Adam State College 42. Fort Adam State College Indians dominating here in this football game as was expected. They are playing like they are the number three team in the nation, if not higher than that. West Polk tees up the ball, sends it on down the field. Fuller will be driven deep into his own uh, end zone, and it'll uh, drop right at the back of the end zone. Another kickoff that will not see a return. As they line themselves up, Atwood remains at quarterback for the Raiders. Sends uh, Fuller in motion. Atwood to pass, has it out and complete to, again, Garcia. And Garcia will be bumped out of bounds after a pickup and a second and two coming up for the Raiders there's the handoff and Wade gets the call and he will be close to the first down should have enough 13 clock continues to move in the third quarter as for the Raiders We'll try to make this look a little bit better. They can get some more points on the board. They uh, drop back. The handoff goes to Wade. Tries to turn around the right side and doesn't find much running room there. Behind the arm of Bob Size here this afternoon. What a game for him. Second and six. Ball resting at the 35-yard line of Fort Lewis. 7.22 to play. We're in the third period of action now. Still another quarter to go. As uh, Atwood drops back the pass, lets the pass go over the middle, and uh, overthrows his intended receiver, number E. Fonte, in the league play, 7-0, and 8-1 and overall. And uh, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference champions for the first time outright since 1972. Here's the pass, out complete to the 40-yard line, and uh, diving ahead of the 43 is the number 86, Dale Kopech, the tight end, first and 10 from the 43. Second first down of this drive. The Raiders keep it going. Atwood takes the snap. Pitch comes back outside to Wade. Wade crosses the 35, still on his feet, tripped up at about the 49-yard uh, line. Second and four with 6.05 to play in the third period. Ball rests uh, just shy of the midfield marker. Atwood, set to go, brings his tight end in motion to the near side, drops back, looking to pass with good protection, lets the pass go down the field, and is going to overthrow his intended receiver. Pass is uh, broken up by uh, number 34 for the Adam State Indians. And uh, he is down. That's uh, Tom O'Rourke, the senior. The other out-of-state defender, Scott Wiedemann, and the receiver for Fort Lewis. But he walks off the field under his own power. And uh, looks like he'll be all right. Hopefully we'll see him back in the ballgame here. Atwood to pass. The in pursuit is uh, Kurt Wilson. He lets the pass go up the field and uh, has it complete out to the 41-yard line for the first down. And uh, gets... 5.23 to play, third period. Atwood to pass, uh, no, drops back to handoff, will go to the back and he'll be dropped to the 45 yard line as the uh, Adam State Indians, Byron Currington and uh, number 47, Mark Nethercott in to uh, make the tackle and Currington is down for a minute, maybe he turns an ankle or something, but uh, he will return. Second down, a loss of five yards on the play. Second and 15 coming up as Atwood drops back to pass. Looking ahead, has pressure and lets it go and uh, overthrows his intended receiver. Looking again for Garcia as uh, he is. Uh, and a third and 15 coming up for the Raiders. 427 remaining in the third quarter. It's Adam State College 42, Fort Lewis 7. The crowd comes into it. 
Atwood drops back to pass, looking ahead, and has it complete to Garcia. Garcia will not be able to spin away. Is uh, close with Adam State. Well, the task is complete, and we've got uh, holding no against the Raiders. But a uh, oh, third and fifteen once again from the 45-yard line we go. As the uh, Raiders set things up, Atwood calling signals. Takes a snap, motion in the backfield, flies go down. Atwood lets the pass go up and has it complete out to the 35-yard line. He is a tight end, number 86, Dale Kovac, but uh, one of the backs uh, lifted up uh, just before the ball was snapped, and I'm sure this flag will go against uh, fourth and five. As we're sent to go, a little bit of confusion, and Atwood will have to hurry to get the snap ball, takes the snap, lets the pass go to the sideline, and will uh, just throw it out of bounds. That would look like he was a little bit confused on that one. Byron Currington back in for that last exchange, by the way. And so as we'll trot out once again, 3.36 to play here in the third quarter of action. Corey Williams comes out wide to the right, and it's Mark Krasovich wide left. And uh, Bill Geyser comes in motion to the near side. Snap to size, drop back, looking upfield and almost uh, throws it away. Pass is going to be caught by Corey Williams. And uh, Williams will have KJW in Alamosa. And Bob Size continues to move his Indians down the field. Another first down. There's the snap. Size on a little reverse to Geyser. Geyser gets outside to the 50 and is going to be run out of bounds there. And a uh, tackle made there by number 20, Jared Howells. Uh, Carlos Sandoval brings the play in from the sideline. Mark Krause is poke wide right. And uh, Mark Gallegos is the uh, lone setback for the Indians. Hooks goes in motion. Size takes the snap, handoff to Gallegos. Gallegos right through the middle of the line and dives ahead for another couple champions. Undefeated in lead play. Snap back to Size. He rolls to his left, looking to pass, sends it up the field, and has it to Krasovich, complete at the 33-yard line. First down out of state. They take it uh, five very quickly, coming up on 400 yards and passing here this afternoon. And what a ball game. First and ten. Guys are in motion. Handoff is to Gallegos, and he will not get much. Uh, Bring up a second and eight. Ball rest at the 31. A minute 54 to play. 53, 52 as the clock rolls down. We're in the third quarter of action. And the wind continues to blow. And now Size uh, sets his offense, takes the snap on the option play, pitches it out to Geyser. Geyser will uh, get up to about the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Run down from behind by a member that uh, coming up immediately after this ball game, the CU Nebraska game on tape delay on KGIW. Size takes the snap, drops back the pass, looks upfield, sends it right over the middle, is in and out of the hands. Corey Williams couldn't quite get to it. And since the West Polk will try to hang it up high, as uh, I'm kind of surprised the Indians don't go for a field goal. Polk is well within his range, but then again, he would be kicking into the wind. So, see if he can hang this one up and uh, drive the Raiders uh, back down into their own territory. Now, the Indians will just uh, wait out the uh, penalty and take the five-yard delay of game. And that'll give uh, Polk a little bit more room to work with. He'll lock it back to the 35-yard line, and Polk will kick from there. All right, set to go. There's the snap. Polk will uh, hang it straight up, the high spiraling kick. And let's see if the Indians can get to it. It'll drop three yards into the end zone. So uh, team and get a berth into the Orange Bowl for the national championship. 50 seconds to play in the quarter. Atwood is the quarterback to pass, lets it go down the field, and is going to be almost intercepted. Almost picked off number 14, Brett Crabb, as uh, the line of scrimmage. As he sets his offense out of an eye formation. There's the snap, the handoff to the second man through is uh, down to the 25, the 27 yard line. And the uh, ball, 14 seconds on the clock. The Raiders will have just enough time to get off one more play in the quarter. 
nine seconds, eight seconds, six seconds. Snap, the handoff is to Bettini once again. He's down to the 35-yard line for a uh, Raider first down. And uh, that will expire the clock. Cheese sauce and served on a pop to seed bone. We'll stop by Arby's today and try out their new fall sandwich with country fried steaks and cheddar for only $2.19. Nothing tastes better than Arby's in West Alamosa. A couple of quick scores here for you. Just tied in and gets them down to the 42-yard line. And, uh, excuse me, the 48-yard line. As he drops back to pass, the pass is going to be a one-hopper just uh, thrown short. His attendant receiver number 32. And Adam State College uh, well in control as uh, they put together four second quarter touchdowns in this ball game. The only touchdown of the game for Fort Lewis, a 79-yard touchdown pass from uh, Atwood to uh, Garcia. That came with 10.48 to play in the third quarter. Atwood to pass once again, throws it up the field, looking for his intended receiver uh, number 85. Other uh, ball games going on around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference today. Uh, Mine is at Western State. Western New Mexico is at Mesa State. All right, set to go. As uh, Atwood to pass, throws it over the middle, has it complete down to the 45-yard line to uh, Garcia, and uh, that'll be just short of the first down. As he gets out, uh, head for an eight-yard gain, a fourth and two coming up. And the Raiders will go right over a yard. Atwood. Takes the snap, handoff, and the uh, running back will not get the first down. Number 32, Bettini, was the uh, man, and the man to make initial contact for the Adam State Indians was uh, number 60, and only five seniors. Those five seniors, of course, in their uh, final uh, football game for Lewis this afternoon. Pass from Bob Fies, looking for Mark Krasovich down around the 15-yard line. Mark Krasovich will come wide left, Polk goes wide right. And it'll be Mark Diego at the lone setback for Adam State. Rutherford goes in motion, size to pass, looks upfield, and lets the pass go. It'll be caught down inside the 40-yard line. West Polk gets a hold of the ball. And uh, pass completion good for 10, 15. Out of an eye formation. Indians uh, set up. Size takes the snap, the handoff will, uh, no, Size will keep it himself, he's inside the 30, will go all the way, Bob Size on the quarterback draw, takes it and goes all the way in for a touchdown. Bob Size from the 38-yard line, goes all the way in for the touchdown. Check it from the 37, a 37-yard touchdown run for Bob Size. Well, who was looking for that? comes with 12.55 to play here in the fourth quarter of action. And Bob Size with a 37-yard touchdown run. Just uh, cut it up through the middle and found a big hole. Took it all the way in. The extra point attempt on the way for West Polk, and it is good. Adam State College, 48. Fort Lewis College, 7. We'll have the kickoff after this. In both I have to play in the fourth and final quarter of action. And the Indians will kick it off once again. The uh, stiff three is going now out of the south. And in fact, it just threw the football right off the tee. So the Adam State Indians will tee it back up, and uh, West Polk will uh, try it once again. It was a windy afternoon uh, last weekend in Gunnison as well. And so uh, the Indians will have uh, Corey Williams hold the football, and West Polk will uh, come up and send it on down the field. A high spiraling kick, and it will uh, be taken uh, three yards deep. No Fuller will not come out with it. They will uh, take the touchback, and uh, we'll see what happens. Atwood remains at quarterback for the uh, Raiders. Takes a snap, drops the pass, looks to his right, and uh, throws it away. We're looking for uh, Alfonso Garcia. And it uh, really was a short pass, only a five, six, seven, eight yard pass. But Garcia took it and turned on the afterburners and on down the field for the touchdown. Good speed. 
Atwood to pass, rolls back, sends it over the middle, is complete to his running back to the 25, and out to the 30 goes Wade, before he is uh, brought down and pulled over by the, uh, as the shadows start to uh, crawl across the uh, field here at uh, Rexfield. Bud Bowl, 1989, the Adams State College Indian in control. Wade gets the call, and he's into the backfield, out to the 40, and down across the 45-yard line for a uh, pickup there. As uh, Eric Wade came blasting out of the backfield, 11.50 to play in the ball game now. It's Adams State 47, uh, 49, the uh, Raiders of Fort Lewis. Wade flips past another couple of tacklers again and uh, gets another good Raiders into Adams State Collins territory now. Ball rest at the 48 yard line. 11 15, 11 14. The clock winds down here in the fourth quarter. A drop play will go to the running back and he's got a first down and more out across all the way down to the 30 yard line. A uh, great run passing day though as Bob Size has just torn him up here this afternoon through the air. There's the snap, Atwood the handoff. It goes to his uh, back uh, fuller, and uh, Rod will get ahead for another four yards. We'll bring up a second and six for the... And Atwood has his offense set. One setback, receivers out to each side, two to his left, one to his right, and he drops back to pass. Atwood to throw, looks over the middle, and it's going to be intercepted. No, not quite. Incomplete, though. And looks like the Adams State Indians will retain uh, possession of the musket. Of course, that's what this one's all about, the uh, antique uh, gun that was purchased years and years ago as uh, kind of a trophy between these two teams. Pass is complete out inside the 20-yard line to uh, Garcia. Alfonso down inside the 20-yard line for a Fort Lewis first down as the six they needed for the first. Of course, uh, no chance of Fort Lewis winning this one, but uh, Adams State College trying to stop them from scoring a second time. Indians held them to just nine points the last time these two teams met. Atwood to pass, lets it go, has it complete inside the 15-yard line to uh, Garcia. Just past a couple of tacklers, still on his feet, and edges it into the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, my. An 18-yard touchdown to pass. I think they're going to give it to him. Let's see. If he didn't get it, he's awfully close. One official holding his hands in the air says touchdown. And now there's the official indication. The referee finally puts up his hands for an 18-yard pass to once again Alfonso Garcia. As the Raiders get on the board once again. Extra point attempt is uh, coming up. Extra point. Stiff wind blowing straight out of the south. There's the kick is on its way, and it is good. So uh, number 90 for the Raiders, Jim Fair, puts the ball through the uprights and adds on the extra point. It's 49 out of state, 14 college expecting an onside kick as they uh, line up, and now they will drop back. No one back deep to receive the kick for the Adams State Indians. The Geyser and uh, Williams are back. The kick will be a low one. It'll skid past Williams and uh, roll on into the end zone. And the Indians will uh, just down it there and, uh, to uh, uh, Fair's 101-23. to 23. So uh, that brings things a little bit more into perspective, the difference in these two ball clubs. And uh, as we expected, Terry Sanchez into the ball game now for the Adams State Indians. His first pass and uh, out pattern intended team of those 30 passes for uh, unofficially 398 yards through the air. What a game for Bob Size. Sanchez turns around on the option play. No, handoff goes up the middle. And uh, the ball carrier will check out of the ball game. West Polk will come out wide to the left. And uh, Corey Williams wide right. Sanchez has soft and set guy goes alone set back. 
that hit. Marks out the signal. Takes a long count, pulls the Raiders offside. The pass is going to be deflected as uh, Sanchez let it go as someone down the line stuck up a big hand and deflected the pass, so it uh, goes incomplete. And uh, the flag's down, though, as uh, Sanchez able to draw out of a wishbone backfield. The Indians go. Sanchez takes the snap. The handoff will go to Rutherford, and he has the first down and more. Has room to run. He's to the 45, the 50, into the Fort Lewis territory, down to the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, and he's going to go all the way for the touchdown. All the way for the touchdown. He takes this one 71 yards for the touchdown. A 71-yard run for Rutherford. It comes with 7.57 to play here in the fourth quarter of action. And uh, boy, Brock Rutherford just turned the corner and out she goes. Another short yardage situation that turns into big stuff for the NFC Indians. Out of the wishbone backfield and the Indians just uh, tear them apart. There's the snap, the kick is on its way, and it is going to be good. A flag goes down, a man came running onto the field late for uh, Fort Lewis. Number uh, 28, Kevin Hodgson, a freshman, ran onto the field late uh, and was offside. Didn't get to his side of the line in time, but offside. The extra point attempt is good at any rate, and the kickoff follows this commercial message. State College over the Fort Lewis Raiders, and uh, it has been a lopsided affair since the end of the first quarter. Adam State College was held scoreless through the first quarter, but uh, now looking to keep this one under control, and uh, no problem doing that. Kickoff on its way, West Polk will send it on into the end zone. Fuller will take it three yards deep and will not come out with it. And so the Raiders will take over seven to play in the ball game. There's the snap. Atwood to pass, sends it on down the sideline, and just out of reach is intended with 241 in rushing. Well over 600 yards in offense for the Adams State Indians in this ball game. Wow. Pass is complete to Garcia at the 20, the 25. He's to the 30, up the sidelines, and out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. First down, Fort Lewis. He uh, gets ahead for 15, which sets up on a split back formation. Takes the snap, drops back to pass once again. Atwood looking upfield with time, lets the pass go, looking for Garcia. And uh, Garcia cannot make the reception. And, and oh. And uh, eight and one overall. There's the uh, draw play to uh, the uh, running back, and Fuller will uh, get ahead to about the 41. Third and six coming up, all rest at about the 42. And set to go. Atwood sets his line, now takes the snap, dropping back to pass again, looks up field, just does get rid of it, but it is well short of his intended receiver, as he just got buried back there. Number 57 for the Adams State Indians, uh, Pete Carroll, to receive the kick. Sadness will be kicking into the wind. From the 48, it's a uh, fake snap, and the uh, Raiders with the ball, it goes to Fuller, Fuller's all the way down into the uh, end zone for the touchdown. We have got a fake punt, and the Raiders go all the way for the touchdown. Flags are down, though, so hold everything. Hold everything. A false start against the Raiders. Bring it all back. Six and a half minutes to play. And the Indians well in control. Here's the snap. Badness takes it, and this time we'll punt it away. Another flag is down. A high spiraling kick. It'll be taken at the 16-yard line by Williams to the 20. And uh, jumps up and out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. We've got a flag down in the backfield. Let's see what that's all about. And uh, so first and 10, Adam State. The penalty is declined. And uh, Sanchez will go out of the wishbone. There's the snap. Sanchez on the option play. He runs out, keeps it himself, dives ahead across the 25, down close to the 30-yard line. Sanchez takes the snap. The handoff will go to the second man through, and he's uh, up close to the first down. Should have it. Uh, Cross will just stick with the running game to uh, take the time off the clock. Sanchez on the option play and is going to slip past and still on his feet. Down across midfield for an Indian first down. Uh, 
another Indian first down. They get a hit. What a ball game. Adam State offense. Incredible. Here's the snap. The handoff. Uh, Sanchez will keep it. And rolling out the pass. No, he's going to be dropped for a sack. Dropped for a sack. Number nine. Eight yards on the play. Off of about seven, actually. As Sanchez looks to pass once again, lets the pass go, has a complete no in and out of the hands. Corey Hooks was wide open and just dropped the pass after this afternoon's ball game. Hooks comes in motion to the near side. Sanchez to pass in trouble, flushed out of the pocket, and is going to be lets the pass go and uh, will fall incomplete. Geyser was in the area. Now back at his 30 and lets it go. Another high spiraling kick. It will uh, take a uh, Fort Lewis bounce and uh, will go into the end zone for the touchback. We'll take it to the 20 yard line. First and 10 there for Fort Lewis and Atwood will remain at quarterback. 3.42 to play. Atwood on a draw play. Gives the ball ahead and the ball carrier down close to a first down fumble on the play. And to play. And here comes the crowd. They will play. Let's stop them right here on second down. Atwood, the uh, handoff to Fuller. They got the first down. And Fuller ahead to about the 30 as Atwood takes the snap and drops the pass. Looks ahead. Has the pass complete out to the 40. And down to the 44 yard line goes his receiver, Todd Casebeer. And Atwood sent to go. Crowd still in this one, despite the lopsided score. There's the handoff. It goes to Fuller once again, and he gets the first down one more time. He will uh, get ahead to about the full way. They'll be 7-0 and in the conference, and 8-1 and overall. There's the snap to Atwood. He drops back to pass. Looks up field, sending it down the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. Excuse me, incomplete. Looking for Case Beer. And so it'll bring up second and 10 from the 49-yard line. A minute 28 to play, and the Raiders trying to put one more touchdown on the board. As Atwood marks out the signals and takes the snap, drops back to pass. Looking up field, lets it go right down the middle again. Looking for Fuller, has it complete down to the 20-yard line. And a big play of it into the end zone one more time before time expires. 56-14 the score, a minute to play in the ballgame. Atwood takes it on a draw play to Fuller. Fuller across the 20-yard line, and they'll be down after a gain of about... Uh, Alamosa was unfortunately defeated today, a score of 27-14. Uh, to 14. Now back to you, Ron. Drops back to pass, looking over the middle. Looking for the end zone, man. Garcia makes the catch and has the touchdown. Alfonso Garcia has his third touchdown of the afternoon. Over 300 yards in rushing, or in passing here this afternoon. Extra point attempt is up and through, and the Indians will like it. Garcia is a senior, 5'11", 170 pounder. He is right out of Durango High School, and went to college in his hometown, and having a great uh, final afternoon of football. Uh, his last day of football with the Fort Lewis Raiders. The uh, kick is squibbed down the field, but uh, Geyser will pick it up at the 20 and the trot out of bounds at about the 27. And the Adams play or two. And just let the clock run out. The handoff is to Geyser. Geyser slips past the tackle, dives ahead, and uh, has a good gain on the play. It's. Uh 